What's going on guys, I am Matthias. Real quick, I want to give a big shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this geek for sitting in this seat and telling you geeks about SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets. They put all of the tickets into one place and then give each one a score of zero to 100 to let you know if it's a good deal or a bad deal. I have this app on my phone and it's honestly by far the easiest way to get a ticket for like an NBA game or a concert or whatever. Plus, all of my viewers, that's you guys, you all get $20 off your first ticket purchase using code Matthias. So make sure you click that link down in the description below and remember, code Matthias, M-A-T-T-H-I-A-S. On to the video. This is a sad horn. Sad clown. What is going on today, my fellow humans? Today, I am going to be showing you 10 strange Amazon items that Tanner from Wrecked picked out. Oh! But guess what? It's an enjoy or destroy, because I got my buddy to destroy things over here. Because if you haven't seen Wrecked, right up there, that's literally what they do. Yeah. Destroy things. Let's begin. Bunchin! Dolphin, kinetic, mobile desk toy, cool gadgets, desk sculpture, electronic, perpetual motion. I've seen these before. One time when I went on a holiday, I don't know, I think I went to like San Diego or something like that, and like we were going to see the dolphins, and this thing was like moving, and I was like, Dad, what's powering that? How's it going? And he's like, it's perpetual. It does its itself based on magnets and energy. And I was like, oh, Dad, are you high? <laughs> and he's like, no way. a little. <laughs> High quality, great gift idea, versatile, meaningful. All right, you're stretching mm, it right yeah. there. <laughs> All right, let's try it, dude. Oh, I love this. Tanner, did you get into this before me, dude? No, nah, man. You can't resist yourself. Uh, we should return it for that warranty. <laughs> you can't resist yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I can't resist myself. Just turns around. Does <laughs> I love me. <laughs> I love me. You know who really loves themselves? I know exactly who really loves themselves. Call him out. Connor. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he loves himself to death. You gotta respect that from a distance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't get too close. Don't get too close. You don't you wanna know? be the third wheel of a one-man party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did this break in the box? What is this? All right, by the way, this is the cheapest plastic I've ever felt in my life. Feel how cheap this plastic is. Oh, that's just depressing. There's no way that works. <laughs> how does this work now? Am I missing parts? Is that it? Is these just extra parts? This goes into here. This goes into here. This goes into here and here. It kind of works. It just looks... It's, it's not, supposed to do full circles, I'm pretty sure, right? This seems like it would be incredibly distracting. You know what I mean? Like whenever you're trying to have a conversation with something and something moves in your peripheral vision and you just feel compelled to look at it, I feel like I feel like that would just happen all the time. Just squirrel, 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 squirrel. squirrel. <laughs> no, dolphin. It's a dolphin. Dolphin. <laughs> dolphin. <laughs> dolphin. Tanner, you know what to do with this. What all are right. you doing? That had to happen. Oh, you're literally. Oh, I see. I see. Take it over. Take it out back and kill it. All right. <laughs> like it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. What a weird series of events. <laughs> oh man. Brace thyself. <laughs> literally just exploded. It just disassembled. <laughs> it was just like, ha, missed. <laughs> One pistachio opener. Pistachio nut opener. With just a pinch they pop. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not ready for this. It's too early in the Slogan morning. Slogan of the year award. Pistachio opener. Oh, I get it. Pistachio pinner. That was pretty good. All right. Do you like pistachios? Yeah, we're good. I hate pistachios. Very salty. Add to cart. <laughs> Do you like pistachios? Yeah. Did I ask that? Yeah, you all right? You want to talk about it? We just talked about this like <laughs> 30 seconds ago. All right. So this is just supposed to pop it. Yep. With a pinch, it pops. Let's see. Let's, let's test that theory. That didn't open it. With I did a pinch, it wrong. they pop. I did it wrong. I'm sure you have to put it in like there. Yeah. It says put it inside of it. Oh, perfect. That happened so fast, I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> it makes such a <laughs> mess. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So if you do this, yeah, maybe you just do it like that. Like, not like an idiot. Like, yeah, we're just like <laughs> opening it like into this guy. There you go, dude. Here's your lunch. This is how I feed my staff. When that feeds you just right. All right. I say this is 
and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. If okay. you guys hear chewing in the background You're or pops and pinches, it's Tanner getting excited about these nuts. Ooh. Thumbs up, golf ball finder glasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what's up. <laughs> I'm gonna cut to a moment. Before we actually started the video, we were rolling the cameras in which I found a golf ball. And I was like, hey, look, there's a golf ball. Anyways, roll it. See that golf ball right there? You're not supposed to see that. Oh, yet. for real? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unlook. <laughs> this was probably supposed to help me find that golf ball right there. That would be the goal of it. Because <laughs> they hit the golf ball hoping that I would be able to find it with this, even though I found it without it. I was just, I just looked and I was like, there's a golf ball right there. <laughs> and, you, and you said it in such a way of like, you weren't even shocked or whatever. You're just like, oh, like a golf ball. I don't be shocked, dude. I could save hours looking for your wayward golf balls. Hours? Hours. Special blue lenses highlight anything white. I'm All afraid right. to look at Tanner. <laughs> I had a feeling that's where that was going. <laughs> I had the cards. Oh man, this looks beat up. You see that? Yeah, I do. Looks like it's been through some things. Looks like someone like bought it and they were like, nah, this ain't working. And then returned it. And then another person bought it and they were like, why did I buy this? I'm so stupid. I already found the, go the golf ball. 100% does nothing. You look like men in blue. I used to think old people were wearing these because they wanted to block out all the light. No, they want, they were wearing them to block out all the haters. <laughs> That's what you're getting here from. <laughs> this definitely doesn't highlight the white. No, straight up look. It literally doesn't do anything. Although you look like you're from the future now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, when you wear it. When he wears it, he looks like he's from, <laughs> from, from the future. Do it. All right. Do it. Dude, are you serious? This guy stinks, dude. All right, All right, give up. Doesn't right. work. Never mind, my hands do. Sweat block? Sweat block, antiperspirant, clinical strength. Reduce sweat up to seven days? Seven, that cannot be healthy. <laughs> you sweat for a reason, dude. Look at the aluminum amount in that. Aluminum chloride, 14%. Is it just blocking your pores? Yeah, it just straight up blocks your pores, which is horrible for you and it gives you aluminum heavy metal toxicity. So this tells you to apply it before you go to bed so it has all night to activate. This does not, this sounds like you're trying to like be superhuman. Sweating and smelling is a part of life. This is not an appropriate way to defeat that. This is a toxic way to smell, defeat that. Smell, but smell good. Subscribe now. <laughs> Wow, it's tiny. Stop use if rash or irritation occurs. Do not use on broken skin. Look at that, dude. This just cannot be good. Maybe it has to be sealed up that tight. I don't feel like she's oh my, my gosh. That is potent. Smell it. Ooh. <laughs> it smells like dead cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, exactly what it smells like. I think it just hurt my head a little bit. <laughs> Some people's BO isn't that bad. I think this smells worse than that. Honestly, I'd rather smell a little bit of BO than a little bit of that. Every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tanner, you know what to do with this. Before we get into the next product, it's now time for a Twitter shout out. Today's Twitter shout out is Sandy. And Sandy asks, hashtag ask Matt, are you going back to Volkswagen? No, I'm not, because I have no idea what that is. Guys, if you want to send me your question, make sure you spell check first. Also, tweet me at Matthias I am, and I may feature you in an upcoming video. Thanks, Sandy. The heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it delivers 110 decibels. Bellow signal horn. No CO2 required. Freon or batteries. Meets US Coast Guard regulations? What on earth did you just find? <laughs> All right, add the card, dude. I got to see this. Wow. Boating, camping, sporting events, bicycles. Lung powered. Wow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All I did was blow. It was like a giant clown horn. <laughs> Is that loud? I don't know. We all had our ears closed. <laughs> you want me to sacrifice one ear for yeah. this? <laughs> Whoa, that is so loud. Wow. Remarkable. I didn't like biting it. It hurt my teeth. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed like to bite it. it. How else was I going to do it with my ear shut? <laughs> I was... <laughs> I, it's whenever I use too much lung air, I get... Foggy. Yeah. <laughs> this is 
a sad horn. Sad clown. What? That's it? All it is, it's clear all the way down to this. All there is is a thin like layer of plastic that vibrates when you blow air into it, and this amplifies it. That's it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I say this is a... Enjoy it. I think I've enjoyed it too much though. <laughs> Art 3D colorful liquid dance floor puzzles playmat decorative flooring system. <laughs> what the heck is this? I still don't understand. It's a floor tile with paint in it. Oh, it's paint in it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Or li colorful that liquid. That is an accident waiting to happen. Why yeah. did they get a picture of a snail? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering that myself. Look, snail left behind some crap too. <laughs> Add the cart. Snailed it. Oh, that's so tiny. What? It came with many? 12 by 12. Why pink though? It's like one step away from looking like we scooped up some blood in here. It definitely looks strange. How much weight do you think these things can take? I'm guessing like up to three. Before pounds. they break. Is there like a film over that? Let's see this dude. Wow. That is really interesting to watch. No joke. I wish they were bigger. I wish they were like two by two. Cause these are pretty cool. And like, I'm definitely feeling more secure about them now. I wonder what it is. It must be like some type of like, the background must be like yellow on this one and the and there must be like some type of green oil or something. Yeah. To separate. All right, man, I say this is a, I say this is an enjoy it. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones from BU. Run bell, handheld bell for runners, skaters, and bikers. For when your voice just doesn't do the trick. <laughs> get out of the way! <laughs> nope. Sleek, stylish, wearable bell designed for runners, skaters, and bikers. So you put it on your fingers and you like ring it. Mm -hmm. Made from brass to ensure quality and powerful sound. This looks like, you know what it looks like? Hmm. It looks like brass knuckles, but after you take someone out with it, you ding the bell to end the round. <laughs> <laughs> bah! End of the round, buddy! <laughs> I decide this. <laughs> Made from brass. Yeah, I mean, it is brass, so, and it goes on your knuckles, so I'm not wrong. Brass knuckles. Ah, Descartes. Oh, okay, so it fits different fingers. That's how they get it to fit different fingers. That was gonna be my next question. Like, what if it doesn't fit? Ew, why is that yellow? <laughs> why are those yellow? Yeah, it's pretty gross. You got a little pouch for your run bell. You got some stickers in there, that's sweet of them. And here's the run bell. I mean, it works. Yeah. It works. Wow, that barely fits my fingers. I don't have big hands either. You see what I'm saying? Is it easy to ring when it's on your finger? No. It doesn't look easy to ring. You can get used to it. It's a very specific way to do it though. It's loud. Yeah, does the trick. If people like it and they use it, more power to them. You yeah. know what I mean? For me, I, I would never remember this. It looks like one of those things that can break a window too, the bell thing. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Maybe if you just go up against the window and you're like, bonk. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this is an enjoy it because I see the purpose and it works. So if people want it, good for you. Demeter one ounce cologne spray, crayon. Simple, subtle, singular scents each day, everywhere. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Brand smells just like a new box of Crayola you opened on your first day of school. Yeah, the worst days of my life was the first day of school. And that's what I want to think of when I'm trying to pick up pe ladies or impress people. Like, remember my first day of school, <laughs> am I right? Third grade like, was my best year. <laughs> She's like, you smell so young. <laughs> <laughs> For the people that peaked in elementary school, we had. <laughs> and the car. $20? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> right after adding the car. <laughs> oh, that is a nondescript bag. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset if this doesn't smell like crayons. Okay, can we just can we just take a moment to look at the look at the bottle and notice that the cap isn't straight? <laughs> it's skewing off to the left. <laughs> You're right. They didn't make the bottle right, dude. Made in USA. That I'm not surprised about. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do here. Oh, I just got Axe body spray inside of a little cologne bottle. I'm gonna spray it inside here. I was gonna tell you to spray it on your clothes, but I don't want you to ruin them. <laughs> <laughs> the face melter. I don't know if that smells like crayons, but I don't know what it smells like, but it smells horrible. And it kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, like, you, did you get that too? Yeah. I mean, it kind of actually hurt the <laughs> did smell. Did you see my face? Yeah. 
I thought you were just like, oh, it's gross. Like, no, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> it's like alcohol, like, but not like drink, like rubbing alcohol mixed crayons. It smells like a dead rotting apricot mixed with alcohol and a crayon. A crayon that's been used by a kid, mind you. Those things go in weird places. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where that's that That's what this smells been. like. We're not gonna destroy it because it'll go everywhere, but it's a destroy it. Madison Supply Heavy Duty Strong 75 pound 4 inch long Nimidian? Neidium. Neidium? Neidium? Nea Neidium? That's a difficult word to say. Neodymium? Oh, that's 100% Neod it. Neodymium. Neodymium. That's it. That felt right. <laughs> that felt right in the mouth. This is not 75 pounds. There's no way. It says it's 75 pounds. No. It has it, it can it has the strength like for 75 pounds. So like it can What does that mean? Oh, it's a magnet. Oh my gosh. Oh, magnet I didn't bond. read that. <laughs> you had me so shocked. I was like, does this guy not know? <laughs> like I think I read that, but my brain was just like over there. <laughs> There's no way this is 75 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, everyone's gonna get so if your dad watches this, he's gonna get shook in the gun. Yeah. Alright, let's try it. Add the card. So I will preface this to move all of the um, kind of like electronics, like your phone, Apple watches away, just in case. You know? Okay, so I mean, what's the distance that it affects? I'm just being cautious, I don't know, to be completely honest. Okay. Oh! All right, this is the magnet. It's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, whoa. <laughs> How about I put it way over here? Yo, what in the heck is wow, that? Wow, dude. I am blown away. <laughs> <laughs> what did we expect to happen? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure. I got some cool things we can do with it, though. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. what the heck is this? So this is on a different axis. That's so cool. Yeah. Because most magnets are cut in half, and you said like it's north and south pole, but this one's kind of cut down the middle. So it goes from x axis to y axis. Oh! That scared me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that interesting, guys? Dude, science is crazy. All right, try this. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. It shows you the magnetic like waves. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Oh, I know what this is. This is, um, you know, it's like small, like, magnetic bristles kind of things. It's just the, the sheets filled with those. Oh, I see, I see. And so it's just pushing and pulling them in the directions depending on the pole. That's actually really interesting. You, yeah, you can definitely see the magnetic fields. See parents, the Matthias show is a good show to let your kids watch before their homework. <laughs> <laughs> before the... <laughs> I have to say that's an enjoy it. Not because I thoroughly enjoyed it. See that video right there? That is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. All right, so if you're on mobile, on desktop, click that video and I'll see you over there. If you're watching this on a TV, it looks like I'm a crazy man pointing at nothing. YouTube's awesome. High five.